All right, Saisa Learning Community, it's an absolute pleasure to be with all of our PE and health folks over at the elementary school. So will you each um, introduce yourselves, tell us how long you've been in education and how long you've been at uh, here in Saisa School District. Uh, my name is Adam Decker. Uh, this is my 21st year in education and my fifth year at Saisa. Okay. I'm Sarah Truax. I've been teaching for six years. This is my second year at Saisa Elementary. All right. Hey. Gary Sarles, and I teach the second through fifth graders here, and I've been just since last year here teaching PE at Saisla. Okay, so we're actually taking a tour of PE and health in the whole entire district. Um, so we'll hear from our middle school and high school folks in just a little bit. Can you just share, um, before we catch uh, some clips of students in action, will you just share like why is PE so important, especially at uh, this age level? Like why is PE and health curriculum so important for our students? I think, um, first of all, I think it promotes a healthy lifestyle, um, which I think is very important to instill at a young age. So we get the opportunity to see these kids, uh, you know, when they're growing and they're learning. And I think promoting that healthy lifestyle is super important um, for their future. Okay. I think it promotes a lot of teamwork and leadership skills. Okay, awesome. And I'm with Sarah. I think a big part of it is teaching the kids how to work with each other and develop some of those interpersonal skills that are so important right now. Yeah, okay. Well, thank you so much for letting me pop into your classes. Bye. Show me a pass. On your mark. Get set. Go. Pleasure to be with Mr. Graybill, athletics director and PE teacher at Sayusla Middle School. Um, so, Mr. Graybill, can you say a little bit about your career in education, like how long you've been teaching, how long you've been at Sayusla uh, Middle School, and then just the importance of PE education um, for our students? Yeah. So, uh, as you said, um, I'm Jeremy Graybill. I've been teaching here for about eight years. I've been in education. Probably about 12 years, I teach middle school, athletic director, coach middle school basketball, I coach uh, fourth grade basketball. Um, so I'm a fairly, fairly busy guy, but uh, I try to do the best I can for the community in the school. Yeah, so um, I have about six classes, or actually seven classes. I also do a life skills at the end with uh, Mrs. Stanick. Uh, what we do is we focus a lot about um, routine. We work on muscular development, cardiovascular endurance, muscular endurance, um, gives them a little bit of background knowledge so they understand what body composition, and then it helps with their flexibility here. Um, they understand the importance of, of uh, physical fitness. We also use um, heart rate monitors, which the district was so awesome to support us with, uh, which gives them some knowledge of how their fitness, how their fitness levels and how they're improving throughout the year. Right here, so that means he's 
pushing himself pretty good. Okay, this will give them their instant feedback right in here. If you want to zoom in here. Okay. Um, so they, they're really trying to get about, and it shows them their goal of 19 minutes, um, 18 minutes in the yellow, and maybe one minute in the red, which is the higher heart rate. It elevated the heart rate up to their maximum heart output. All right, so I used to learning community. I'm now at the end of the road down at the high school. We just got to see clips from our elementary and middle school PE programs. Now I'm with the fabulous Chuck Johnson, department head of PE. Chuck, why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about your background as an educator and your time here in Sayusa School District. Well, thank you for being here, first of all. Um, this is actually my 38th year as an educator. I spent 34 years in uh, the great state of Idaho, uh, retired from, from Idaho, wanted to get a little bit uh, closer to my daughter who is uh, part of the football program at Oregon State University. This is our fourth year. Uh, when I say our, my wife works here as well. But this is my fourth year at Sayusla High School uh, teaching health, uh, weights, and physical education classes. Okay. All right. Um, do you want to share, we're about to pop into a couple of classes, so do you want to um, d just list your staff members, um, maybe talk about, because you have quite a myriad of different electives that students can take, and then maybe um, at the end tell us what we're about to see when we pop into those other classes. Perfect. Yes. Uh, so we have Dylan Perry, uh, who is part of our staff. He teaches the, uh, the Health One classes as well as Freshman PE. Um, and we have Christy Heller, who is actually our equipment um, manager. She, she takes care of all of our equipment, orders our equipment, uh, as well as teaching. What we try to do with our PE department is meet the needs of all the students. Um, there are going to be students who are going to walk into the PE, and the last thing they want to do is go into a locker room, get dressed down, come out and say compete in games and all that. So we, we created a walking for fitness class, which is absolutely a wonderful class. We have a class called Team Sports for that person that walks in the, and the first thing they want is a ball in their hand mm -hmm. or they want to compete. And that will be a class that you'll see today with Miss Heller. Uh, she will be doing, uh, I believe she's got soccer basketball going today where we combine two great sports. Uh, into one. We also have the, the weight training uh, classes that you, you see in here. Mm -hmm. It's set for a person to get bigger, faster, stronger, but it's also set in the same class for a student to tone their bodies. Uh, it's a great class to uh, achieve that strength part of fitness. A little bit later you're going to see Dylan uh, and he has a, a freshman PE class and they're in there right now in the Ox Gym uh, and they have a ping pong tournament going on. <laughs> That's so cool. So we get to do all these from lifetime sports to team sports to competitive sports to just fitness activities. Uh -huh. We just, you know, body, mind, and soul is what uh, fitness is all about. Um, are there, there was one other class that you were growing that you were, that's in the works. Do you want to share something about that? Because it's a yes. super beautiful concept. Uh, uh, we love it. Um, so what we wanted to do is come up with an idea to, uh, to fit the needs for the special needs students. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have come up with a class that we're hoping to call Intro to Fitness, Intro to PE. Uh, and uh, Coach Heller will be teaching that class. And what we're going to try and do is match up our, our students with special needs with regular ed students who can be their partner and help them in a kind of an adaptive PE uh, environment where also the regular ed students will uh, receive PE credit. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much. You are absolutely a gift to the school district. <laughs> thank, you. thank you for letting me pop into your classes today. No worries. Thank you. All right, uh, Coach Perry, anything you want to say about your fabulous ping pong tournament going on right now? Uh, we've got some great ninth graders, uh, fierce competition going on, a lot of athleticism showing. Um, <laughs> yeah. They get very competitive, especially Miss Lockator here. She yeah. loves ping pong. This is fun. Okay, this is our team sports class, uh, Coach Heller's class, and right now they're playing a game called soccer basketball. We incorporate 
skills from soccer and rules from soccer as well as basketball. You can score kicking the ball, throwing the ball, or making a basket. And this is what they are right here.